Welcome to TOL Season 9, Week 17. Yes, as we all know and love Bobby very much, he has gone all crazy style in the last month of the season. Took about four days in real time, but what else is new? So we've got the last week of the season, the biggest week of the season, playoff lives are going to be decided today. A lot of teams have already clinched their spot, but a lot of teams haven't. And so we've got a game that features one of those teams. Ricky Owen, the legend. Former TOL Bowl winner, and he appeared in at least one other one, maybe two more, I can't remember. But one of the absolute legends here. But uh, not his greatest season, but he's still got a good team, and he's trying to sneak into the playoffs here. And so he needs to win this game. And on top of that, let's see here. Then, and then he needs um, the Icelanders to lose to get in. Um, so, yeah, so there we go. So um, they'll be rooting against the Icelanders, who looked really strong uh, last week against um, the Virginia Lovers squad, but... Okay, so here we go. Three, two, one, go. And uh, Ernest Boner is back. So as somebody else, uh, Huckleberry Hound is also back. And as somebody who uh, hates the Washington football organization, I fully support the naming of these douche rags that Ricky has here. Um... And uh, so they're going up against the Hanna-Barbera's team, which I think had maybe some bad luck this year. Um, you know, I think they could have been a playoff contender if uh, a few different things had gone a few different ways. Um, so, you know, a team to sort of keep an eye on for. Um, and they could definitely pull off this upset. I mean, this is not one of those games where, you know, you kind of figure you know who's definitely going to win. Um, a lot more to play for. Oh, and losing Santana Floss early hurts. Now... Is Santana Moss really the second best receiver in Washington history? I mean, I would think Clark already would be better than him, even though he played on the scene with Art Monk. But um, anyway, um, so here's Ernest Boner, who uh, is like the greatest name. <laughs> I mean, just Ernest Boner. It's so funny. Uh, um, and they call his play that time. Second and 15, Blow Theisman, another great name. Oh, looking across the middle to Daryl Clark. I don't know what his actual what his name is in this game. but um, So third and long, need this conversion. Boner goes wide. I have a wide boner. <laughs> All right, sorry, that was bad. Um, oh, I think this is going to be wide right. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's blocked. Who's going to pick it up? Oh, boy. Fred Flintstone. Flintstone. Meet Fred Flintstone. He just blocked the punt and picked up the ball. He did try to score it, but his ass was shut down immediately. Knocks the pass down incomplete. And so John Cena trying to lead the Barbarians to victory to get their record to 500. He does the play action here. Across the middle. Oh, knocked down. See, that play is like a play that so many people pick because a lot, you know, if you pay your running back well, um, they're going to be the primary receiver there, but obviously gives up a lot of sacks too, but it's a interesting play for a cheap. If you have a Field goal is good, by the way. But if you have a good running back and not a very good passing team, I think most teams will throw that one in there. All right, so throwing now to, to Bo Boner here. Oh, Boner comes back and goes down. See, what I would have told Ricky to going into this game is he needed to get the uh, some Viagra because he wants to keep his Boner strong. 
<laughs> yes, I think I'm funny. All right, so here's Clark on the reverse and gets nothing. He doesn't look completely unpaid because he didn't look god awful slow there, but um, hand hand off directly to Brown. So I know he had a like a clit and Portis. Oh, Fred Flintstone looking for play. Oh, blow Thiesman. His leg is shattered. Fred Flintstone comes down on that leg and just breaks it in half. Slug Williams will come in, but they're going to have to punt. And the ambulance is quite busy. It's going to be hard for them to pull off this victory now. And he's brought down at the 43-ish. So the Barbarians... The strong defense and already got a field goal on the board with a healthy JoJo Rabbit. It's a Rocket Rabbit. Um, you know, really looking to uh, put this game kind of away here. Well, not away in the first quarter, but you know they 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 should be feeling good about themselves and they can really make a huge impact on. I'm fucking rambling. They feel good. They've got momentum. That's all I'm saying. There goes the rabbit again. Third and seven. Direct snap to the rabbit. Goes south and goes back up to the middle. Great run. Touchdown! Hannah Barbarians! And now they will most likely go up 10 nothing. So this is where... You really see the medal. Can can uh, Joe gives up anal, their coach, um, get these guys to rally. They've had a bunch of injuries, down two scores, and a victory doesn't... Oh, another injury. Jeez Louise. Sticky Sanders. I guess that's Ricky Sanders. Look at this. My God, the backup tight end is now in. Now, a lot of people have a have a well-paid backup tight end since it's one of the safeties. So I'll be curious to see how that goes. Cooley. Piss Cooley. Intercepted by the Gator. Chomp, chomp. And this is just all barbarians right now, folks. Um, if anybody wants to tell me what John Cena has to do with Hanna-Barbera, please let me know. <laughs> He's look. He's got somebody across the middle. Quick draw, McGraw. Ooh, incomplete. That could have been an interception. Thrown it into traffic. Cena backs up. Looking, looking, looking. He's throwing it deep. To Doggy. Who is short. Has anybody ever done a Looney Tunes team? That might be cool. Like Foghorn, Leghorn as the D-end and... Maybe Roadrunner as the running back. Anyway, um, kick is no good. No good. So Washington still in this game. Trying to take command of their offense and just throws it to nobody. As a Broncos fan, Slug Williams can suck my balls. Flintstone. He's Fred Flintstone. He's the best player in this game. Oh, tries to throw it short, but incomplete. Fourth and 17, and they will, in fact, have to punt. Drupalo. I'm not Drup I'm trying to... F I thought I know most of these characters, but maybe I don't. Um, Drupalo makes a few moves, brings it out near midfield... So good return. The Barbarians are at the gate here trying to move forward. Rabbit picks up three. Oh, Dexter Womanly was just tossed around like nobody's business. That's a great name. Ricky's pretty clever with these names. Off tackle to Rabbit. Oh, just barely past the first down marker, but gets it. Nicely done. 
call play, but can he get it off? No. <laughs> Loss of five. The commanders were ready. Going deep to quick draw. Intercepted! Daryl Green. And he's now first and ten going the other way. Slug. Oh, God. Throws an interception of his own. Touchdown, Barbarians. I crunk. Takes it in for the devastating score. That puts them up 17 to nothing, and their offense has got absolutely nothing going for it. So this does not look like it's going to end up going too well. Thomas. Oh, yeah, so he does have some, some speed as the safety spot. So um, it's a shame that he's not in at running back for them. Got that bottom receiver open. He's going for him. A lot of air on that pass. Oh, he brings it down. Harry Clark. And they're not going to get him. Hail to Gary Clark. Hail to victory. Yes, we're still down two scores. But we're going to try to win. I don't know. I don't really... I know it's just hail to the... What do they... Do they even have that fight song anymore? Do they say hail to the commanders? Like, squeeze in an extra syllable? Anyway. 16 to 7. That was the shot of adrenaline that they really needed to get themselves back in this game. Oof. So let's see now. Second quarter. Down 9. They really need to stop here. Giving up a long return is not, not the way to start that kind of drive. Oh, cross the middle. Incomplete. Second and ten. John Cena. Who just lost a pretty boring match to uh, Austin Theory at WrestleMania, which had a terrible build, too. Uh, but who am I kidding? I would still invite John Cena back next year if he wanted to come back. If I was WWE, because he's still John Cena. And they are forced to punt. So just getting out of this disaster of first half down 7 to 16 doesn't seem so bad. But they've shown they can, they've got big play potential here. Let's see, first and 10. Across the middle. Harry Clark with three defenders missing the dive. <laughs> You got to love that imagery there with three guys just jumping at him. And so here's... So it's not Slug Williams, it's Tug Williams. I think it was Slug Williams at one point. Um, there's been a couple iterations of this theme. Oh, throws it to Clark incomplete. So that'll end the half. So obviously not a good half for the Commanders. They, uh... Really needed um, this win, obviously, to stay alive. And uh, the injuries mounted up real quick, real early. That one to blow Theisman was devastating. His leg just snapped in half. Kind of gruesome. I don't even want to watch that replay. Uh, his career could be over from that one. Um, so John Cena is trying to lead the Barbarians. Throwing it to Hound, who's wide open. Catches it on the dive, so they are able to stop him from waltzing into the end zone. But still a big gain for the Barbarians. Wide pitch to the Rabbit. Takes it to the 20. So they're just about in the red zone here. Cena's looking. Throws it into coverage. Chump Bailey with the interception. And now they've got some momentum. They've got some life. They've got a sack, it looks like. Fred Flintstone. Oh, the Grape Ape gets the credit, even though Fred Flintstone's the one that made the play. So now second down and 15. And uh, there's Fred Flintstone. Jeez, I didn't actually see him get to him there. There's Fred Flintstone regardless. And now they're deep in their own territory. 
Need to make something happen. Monk looks open. Oh, I don't think this throw is going to get there. It does! What a throw by Tug! And Art Skunk is going places. Brought down to about the seven. What a play! Man, this offense had trouble, so this is no sure thing that they're going to be able to score from here, but great play regardless. Tug feeling more confident. Ooh, Obo's picked off. Fake handoff. Again, Monk looks open. Clark is open. Touchdown! Washington. Hail to the Commanders. They suck big nuts. Lined up the extra point, and it's blocked. Man, somebody blocked some of these. They don't. They didn't pay the hogs like they used to. And that matters because this is now a three-point game that would have given them the lead on a field goal. So we'll see if that comes back to haunt them. First and ten. Going to quick draw McGraw. Oh, I thought that was going to be picked. The defender was ready for it. Looking, looking, looking. Again to McGraw. First and ten. Do it again. Incomplete pass. Second and ten. Delayed handoff to the rabbit who's got room, folks. Stop just short. This is a huge play. Third and three. Oh, boy. I mean, this is just the whole season on the line here. He's got some space. Let's see. Oh, he's short. What a stop by Washington. Ooh, doggy. And they are in business. Tug just looks a little more confident after that last drive, especially. First and 10 from their 20. Hand off to Brown. Second and four. Boom, swarmed Fred Flintstone. It's going crazy today. What a game by Fred. Across the middle to Clint Dix Portis or something. Clint, Clint and Dix. <laughs> that might be the best name, actually. That might be better than Ernest Boner. But they are forced to punt. And you bring it up to the 25-ish. All right, so the defense is going to have to make another step up here. up a first down direct snap second and 14 Cena you they can't see him the defense is trying to stop him, but they can't. Oh, you know, I told myself I wasn't going to make that joke because so many John Cena's and so many people make that joke. But I went there. Sorry, everybody. Oh, doggy in coverage. That was a close one. Cena looking around. Oh, thought it was a good call, but that defender got there fast. Cena looking, looking, looking. Going deep to Rabbit, but not so deep. Didn't have the arm strength to get it there. Third and ten. Incomplete. They are going to punt. And once again, Washington will have the ball. It will now, it's now the fourth quarter. Down three. The pressure is on. Really use a big return from Thomas. And they get a pretty good one. Puts them in reasonable field position here. Tug sees that open receiver going to Harry Clark. Oh, the jumping catch. 
by Clark, brought down at the 43. Going to piss Cooley into complete coverage. Lucky it wasn't picked. Second and 10. Oh, me, oh, my. Let's try a pizza pie. Going to Harry Clark, who's been clutch for them. Third and 10. They'll probably go for it on fourth down if they don't connect here. Oh, he's got his two receivers open. Harry Clark. Oh, just outside of the outstretched arms. And they're going to punt. Wow. Questionable choice here. Fourth down in the opponent's territory. Down three with two minutes and change left. Man, oh man. Questionable call by Coach Joe Gives up anal. It's now second and eight. The defense has played well in the second half. So they might be able to get you one more stop. But the rabbit, oh man, another monstrumental third down here. Third and four. Let's see if they can stop him. Delayed handoff. Stopped him. What a play. I don't know if that was the safety or the corner. That might have been Chump Bailey. Somebody came up and stuck him. Might have been Daryl Green. All right, so under two minutes, they're going to have the ball with a chance to, to win and keep their playoff hopes alive. This is about as dramatic as it gets. You got to figure their only real chance to score is uh, a deep one to, to Monk or to Clark. Because they have not shown any attempt or any significant uh, sustained drives. It's mostly just been big shots. I'll take the dump down to Brown. See if he gets this. He does. That's important because... Uh, you know, they, they would already be a third down. They don't want to be worrying about you know, having to convert. Not a good play call. Uh, the defender wisely holds him up for an extended period of time to take more time off the clock. The run of the middle to Brown, again, not what we're looking here for here. Third and 13. Uh, I mean... Joe, oh, he coughs it up. So that's pretty much the season there for both of these teams. This will be their last game. So, uh, you know, two two good teams that I think really could have uh, done some more damage if they'd gotten a few more breaks to go their way. Monty Holman. And that's the ball game. The Barbarians hold off. The rallying Washington Commanders. And uh, the two quarterbacks, if you add up their completion percentages, threw for 60% that game. So not not very good. Um, but uh, all right. So better luck next season. And uh, see you soon.